Hello everyone and welcome to Clairvoyant Conversations. I'm Sarita Antaria. So tonight we're going to be answering some questions. So hopefully our comments are feeding in here tonight. So just give me like a little emoji, give me like a star or something or a um, heart or whatever, just to let me know that you're here. And we'll start to do um, live readings as soon as people jump on. I'm just going to check what's happening just on here in case my questions aren't coming up here. Okay, let's see. Oh, hey, cool. We are getting some questions and things on here. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so tonight we're going to start as soon as we get a few more people jump on. So if anyone wants to share this, you can share this with your friends. And I'm going to try and get to as many questions as we can. So excited to have you here. Oh, it's good. We're getting some guys on here too. Um, we always have such a, lo a lovely bunch of women, but it's also nice to see some men on here as well. I'm really well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, nice to see you all here. And what we'll do, how's everyone's week been? What's the energy felt like for all of you this week? It feels like something is shifting. I'm getting goosebumps just down the back of my neck uh, as I say that too. Hi, Leslie. Hi, kiddies. Hi, Robert. Hi, Shakti. All right, let's see. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Tony. How are you all? Good to see you here. All right. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Elise. How are you? All right, let's do a collective uh, reading for uh, everyone at the moment. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Leslie. Thank you for uh, being here. Yes, intense. It's definitely been intense energy. Hey, Jason. How are you? Um, hey, Carly. All right, so let's do a bit of a collective reading and then I'll get to individual. So we're looking into the next coming few days uh, into next week. All right, so this is very interesting when I start to look into this. Let's pick this one. All right, so I'm hearing the word trepidation and I'm also seeing what seems to be, hi Claire, um, I'm also seeing what seems to be like different lines coming down as though that gets a, a greeny yellow sort of line and then I'm seeing another one and I'm seeing another one and what I'm seeing that as frequency and I'm seeing like different dimensions so I feel like we're getting different dimensional um, uploads and downloads happening at the moment but I'm also seeing a separation between these dimensions too so really really important time to maintain your frequency so let's pick a few cards for this all right and as you can see, I've got my cards face down. Also got my little blankie, which is Kobe, while we're reading. All right, so let's have a look into the cards. All right, so where I'm hearing the word trepidation, and I'm just hearing sort of for like the next two to three days, they're like, just be careful. Be careful about like boundaries. Be careful about like, I guess, uh, the word they're giving me is like overextending yourself. They're saying this might reflect more in hindsight, but they're really talking about just sort of like being careful about um, like where you see your boundary and kind of overstepping that mark, whether this is pertaining to um, like our lockdown situation here in Melbourne. I also feel that this is on a personal level. Also looking into, we have um, new moon energy uh, coming in too. So really thinking about what it is that you would like to create and what it is that you would like to manifest. Hello, everyone. Oh, Donny, poor thing, you're saying it's 4 p.m. and no um, sleep. Let me write your name because um, we will be answering personal questions as well. Yeah, the energy is very, very uh, difficult to deal with at the moment in terms of sleep. So we kind of just have to roll with it. I find putting meditations on Insight Timer, Binaural Beats, Hemisync Meditations, um, Hypnotherapy helps to kind of knock me out at the moment. Oh, thank you, Tony. <laughs> thank you. Oh, hi, Baron. Good to see you here from New Zealand as well. All right, so let's see. So we're getting a lot of heart energy come in. We're getting a lot of connecting to source. And then I'm seeing what looks to be like an ET traction beam. So I'm seeing like what feels to be like raising up and it feels very vibrational. So over the next couple of days, maybe like a lot of inner reflection and almost like a little bit of home at work in a way and tuning into this finer vibrational frequency that each of our souls specifically uh, brings through is what I'm feeling. So let's flip this card. This is called Queen of Swords. So 
it's sort of like tapping into that kind of like uh, vulnerability. You know, the, the chest is bare, the mask is off. Um, she's sitting in the clouds, but you can see the clouds are parted so you can see her. So this is really kind of like an unveiling that's happening and we had this card to represent over the next two to three days you can see that she's sort of sitting in a higher space or higher frequency so she's above trouble the sword is sort of like bent and she's not really having to use it to defend um, and you can see there's a higher part of herself that's connecting in here which is that green heart sort of energy too hi beautiful people thank you for joining us all right, let's also see uh, what we get with these middle cards and then we'll get to some individual questions. So what I'm sort of I'm I'm seeing from midweek and this is really interesting. So I don't know if anyone else has noticed but on um on the news and on some social media and things there's been stories of whales in a big pod size. I think even at one point it was counted at about 150 whales that were counted uh which is, you know, a little bit unusual to have it in the part of Australia that we're in at this time of the year. But what I'm seeing is like the animal tribes are really coming together. And if you can tune in, to, especially to whales, to their vibration and their frequency, they're really coming together to raise the frequency energy and the frequency level of humanity and of the planet. So tuning into like whale and dolphin medicine at the moment, maybe tuning into some of their music, because it is on a vibrational level, like with the sonar and things, you will get different healing and things come from it. Oh, thank you, Janine. That's so sweet. We will be doing some questions shortly. So I'll just see if there's anything else we need from that. They're talking about tuning into this heart rate frequency that the animals are connected to as well. So they really have like an unhindered, is the word they're giving me, an unhindered um, heart in relation to connecting in the consciousness grid. So we'll flip that. Oh, thanks, Baron. He's putting some whales up. This is cool. So this is them connecting and working with us with this consciousness grid. And all of this card, the pink and the green, to me always speaks energies of the heart and getting tingles all through my crown chakra really like on a spiritual level tuning into these dolphins and whales meditate with them connect with them think about them like hand over the heart you know hand on third eye like really connect in your meditation with the dolphins and the whales at the moment i just feel straight to go into this third card and flip yeah look at this it's that watery energy and that's that extension that reflection um not only do we have water in this because we were talking about dolphins and whales but this is a reflection from higher realms down onto the physical plane this is the anchoring of ascension energies and also really really important date um, that i was shown by spirit i think it was last week i awoke to seeing an image and a vision of oh thank you janine sending me stars you're so sweet thank you um i awoke to a vision of the planets in a planetary alignment with the sun and i heard the name i heard the word equinox so when i googled it it's the 22nd of september so we're really just days away from that shift into the egyptian equinox and i feel that we're also with that happening we're opening a portal or a gateway into this higher dimensional reality and these higher energies that we're starting to pull in and anchor. Hi, Yvette. Um, yeah, so really like trying to stay, I guess, like above anything that's pulling you into lower frequencies or lower energy. Um, if there is something that's pulling you in, realizing your connection to part of that and, you know, trying to heal off that side and disconnecting from it and bringing yourself back into alignment with these frequencies. The other thing to do is to choose a new frequency to operate on. So think about it as a radio station, maybe pick a color or a symbol that you associate with this and feel your frequency start to raise up and align with this. So let's pick some cards we had Donna who is four o'clock in the morning where you are um, so my heart goes out to you for not being able to sleep I was up till two o'clock last night um, I generally don't sleep too much um, lots of stuff always goes on at night always been a night owl which is the same with uh, it's the same with a lot of my friends that work in this way so let's pick a card for Donna and then we'll get to some other questions all right Oh, this is interesting Donna I'm seeing the energy of a whale come to you right now and I'm hearing sort of like that whale speak or that whale kind of um, emanation the echo that comes from the voice so perhaps putting on like some whale medicine is the word that they're giving me so using like their medicine their song um, and just letting that sort of like wash over like waves over your energy body um, I'll just see if there's anything else. Okay, the other thing that I'm talking about around you at the moment is extra study. If there's been something that you've thought about studying 
uh, for a while or something that's intriguing you to kind of like explore further now is a really good time for you is what I'm seeing let's flip this card so yeah we've also got this this I feel is also related to the sleep side of things so we've got worry so if we bring in that vibration of that whale resonance and that tone and frequency that will help to shift that so let's pick a card for what it will shift to I'm just going to flip this straight away the choose your own adventure card that's what I call this one that's my little cheeky nickname for this so this card is kind of like those choose your own adventure books from when we were kids where you actually are at that fork in the road and you get to pick whether you're going down path a path b and that's what i saw with you um around study uh so really looking at like if you would like to go uh into more study that would be a very interesting path to explore otherwise you can kind of stay like on the path a or you can sidetrack and go off to path b so let's get some questions oh jason's also saying he's a night owl too um Let's see. All right, I want to get to as many questions as we can. I'm just going to go to, uh, to where I'm drawn. So we've got uh, Patrizia. I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing anyone's name wrong. Also in Melbourne, Melbourne girl like myself. Um, so we'll pick a card for you. And... Oh, and we've got Gerard Anthony Lynch. Hello, I just want to ask if there is healing for dogs available. Yes, definitely. Let's also, um, I'm not sure if you're able to pop your name of your dog in here, um, but we can do a question around your dog. Okay, that's interesting. I'm also just getting downloads uh, on some things happening with your dog as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, Alison's also commenting, feeling exhaustion this week. Yeah, so we're leaving a lot behind this week. So going into next week, there might be some things that have shifted and almost like unrecognizable within ourselves. So we're actually kind of like shedding that cocoon stage. So thinking about it up till now, we've kind of been those caterpillars and we're, we're in that chrysalis stage. So we're really starting to break out of that and we're starting to discover that we have wings, but we're kind of at that cocoon shedding stage. So um, with the exhaustion, just having a look into that and just uh, doing what you can to kind of nurture yourself as well. Um, so Lucia, uh, any insights? I would love some insights for the next few months as I am in great changes. Let's see. All right, and let's first just pick a card for Patrizia in Melbourne. Okay, so the energy that I'm getting with you, uh, Patrizia, I'm getting where it's like the energy is going like this. I'm getting like pinpoint accuracy, kind of like target. It's almost like if you imagine a Google map with a pin dropped on it, and it's like beep, 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 beep. So what I'm kind of feeling is this almost like electromagnetic triangulation and I feel kind of like a heavy weight, kind of like surrounded like a cloud smog. I just feel that you're sensitive to electromagnetic energies and also empathic energies from others. So if you can get out into nature a little bit more or do things to kind of like shield and protect yourself from this kind of thing, but we'll pick a card for you. And I'm also just getting like about definitely like focused on letting things go learning different ways to kind of like the word they're giving me is like defrag which is like a computer when it's taken on too much of an overwhelming amount of information or it's like hit the limit like a processing so it's learning to kind of like defrag and to shift out old data that you no longer need is what i'm hearing spirit say all right so this is coming the image that i'm getting spirit show me is a cherry blossom over the heart so i'm really just being shown to meditate and connect into this heart energy and work with this cherry blossom essence and we had this come up a few weeks ago so cherry blossoms are a spring flower they symbolize and work with like new hope new life so it's really going to bring that uplifting type feeling to help kind of like take us outside of this heavy dense energy that's happening in melbourne at the moment the other thing that i'm feeling is when you sort of get into that lifted um phase or state and start to kind of like shed some of this heaviness that's happening just around the area what i'm seeing is that there's kind of like what they're saying like wiggle room uh, is a word that they're using so we'll flip this card 
Yeah, so this is like topsy-turvy land. So things are kind of like flipped on the head right now, like what we were saying and kind of that triangulation or that feeling that like that electromagnetic energy is sort of pinpointed down like we were talking about. So things really are, you know, not quite right in Melbourne at the moment, but bringing in like that cherry blossom energy. And let's also just pick a card out of my other deck for you as well. So on the positive, when you do lift that electromagnetic stuff, this is about manifesting. This is also about calling in spirit and calling in energies from higher realms. So say like, for example, if you wanted to establish a connection of like higher love or peace, um, you can call on a planet that's already established this and help to bring in that code and that program to hold that frequency here on earth. Um, so I hope that that helps. Um, so we're going to look for a question for uh, Gerard. And you had a question or you were asking about your dog and about healing frequencies. So when I read that question, I started to see learning something about digestive system. And I started to feel like there was something around possibly digestive system like with your dog. So we'll pick a card on this. All right. So they're talking about there's something more to learn. The other thing that I'm seeing too, I'm not sure if your dog's been um, like staring off at things. So whether you've seen like something catch your dog's attention or kind of like look at uh, seeing the dog like look at things that, that might appear as though they're not possibly there. But what I'm actually seeing is different things happening with your dog's uh, third eye at the moment. I'm also feeling like a little bit of electricity around the brain. So whether like his... Um, what would you call it, neurological processes might seem like a little bit different, but I do feel that there possibly is possibly a gut connection too. Sometimes when we have these kinds of things come up, sometimes it can also represent uh, parasites. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that you did want to ask me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm happy to, to help as well. Let's also have a look. So the yellow sometimes will come up for humans when it's around study, education, learning. Sometimes it will come up around solar plexus and digestion. And what I'm seeing like with your, your beautiful fur baby is just like to keep that motion of digestion going. The other thing that I did see was like a little bit of grass and kind of that alkaline energy. So it could also be that we need to like calm that acidic balance. So also when we have different acidities in the body, especially, um, you know, as animals are getting like a little bit on in age too, we can tend to notice arthritis and things caused as a symptom of that inflammation that's going on uh, on more of a base level. So let's flip this card. We've got a period of adjustment. So this might be like finding the right uh, protocol or the right um, vet or natural medicine practitioner for your beautiful fur baby. But yeah, please, if there's any other questions that you want to ask, don't be afraid to reach out. So I hope that that helps, Gerard. Um, Lucia, insights. Um, you were saying that you're going through some big changes. So let's have a look. And we'll see what we get. Okay. All right, my first place that I'm getting taken to with you, and you have such a beautiful, soft, um, sweet, loving energy. I'm just getting taken straight to your heart. And what I'm actually seeing is I'm seeing the heart chakra and I'm seeing three different locations within the heart chakra. So whether there's like three different things that you're sort of trying to hold space for right now around these changes and shifts happening, what Spirit is telling me is to kind of like shift it out of the heart. You're carrying everything in your heart right now. They're talking about please like write, please journal, and I'm getting different goosebumps all down my legs. So our legs are connected to do with moving forward. So please journal in order to help you move forward um, and to gain greater insight. You might even want to write like a pros and cons list. Um, they're just telling me get it out on paper. Get that emotion out, get that expression out. The other thing you might want to work with is different flower essences. So like rescue remedy to help kind of like bring that momentum and bring that emotional shift with that change as well. I'm also seeing a band-aid being pulled off. So they're talking about like the faster that you kind of work with this, the faster that you can get through into positive change because they are talking about there's a couple of little things where it's like trying to fit that, that puzzle piece in. You know, when you're a kid and you've got that piece and it's like you're trying to like jam it into the wrong spot because you're like you just want to finish the puzzle. So there's that kind of uh, image that Spirit is showing me too. So let's pick a card. But yeah, definitely getting taken to heart chakra. And they're also saying the word surrender. And I feel it surrender to the highest choice and the choice that you know that is coming from spirit. And really sort of like, I guess, stepping outside of that mental um, way of looking at things. They're talking about what is best for you uh, in this situation as well. So we're just picking a card. 
Okay, they're also talking about making sure to learn the lessons from this experience and look at it if it reflects that back into the past because it will help to kind of like cut off a pattern. So I'm going to flip this card. Yeah. So this is why we were saying about like getting things down on paper. So see how we've got swiftness, this card here, and it's almost like the energy is not quite um, focused. So it's a little bit like out of control, even though there's like so many different possible outcomes and so many different possible uh, directions for it. We really want to get it into a more cognizized, uh, harmonious form is what we're seeing uh, within this card. So I hope that that helps. Let's get to a few other questions. For anyone wanting a personal reading, um, my personal readings do come with an aura drawing. They also come with cards like we're doing now. We can communicate with the guides. We have a full hour in which to dive deep and answer as many questions as we can in that full hour and to really tap in and get on a more personal level. Because in this kind of setting, there's only so deep sometimes that spirit will want to go because it obviously won't want to expose um, you know, or invade that space and kind of overstep different boundaries that we might have on a privacy level uh, in a group setting like this. But um, I always say, like, we just have the most beautiful people here. You're also supportive of each other. And I just can't thank you enough for the space that you hold um, and how protective you are of me when we have spammers. So thank you so much for that. Uh, let's also see. Um, uh, Leslie. Okay. Oh, Shakti, I have seen you a few times. Shakti, serious. I've got to answer one for you. So stay with us, folks. I'm going to try and get to as many as we can. And then we'll go to Leslie. Leslie Mears. And just guidance. Amanda Stevens. Um, and Donna Funflower. Cool last name, Donna. I'm struggling for a long time. I just want to feel better starting to study mediumship. Awesome. Okay, so Shakti, let's pick a card for you. Okay, Shakti serious. The song that I'm hearing, like as soon as I start to shuffle, Spirit is playing me a song. And it is, I'm hearing the chant, Om Namai Shiva. And I'm just hearing it, um, I think it's the gay, it might be gay tree mantra, gay tree mantra. But there's this beautiful, like harmonious, like Om Namai Shiva Ya. And it just has this kind of like vocal resonance that kind of burst out of the heart. It's like the heart singing out the throat. It's really, really beautiful. I'm seeing that frequency and that energy around you. Let's also see when I'm seeing that I'm getting like lots of gold just like radiating off your throat chakra. They're talking a lot about voice activation. Um, they're talking about not being afraid to kind of like shed veils and step into your confidence because there's a lot of power that you hold. And this is really about you stepping into your sacred space. And I'm hearing the word resonance. So they're really talking about like um, holding this resonant tone within you. And this is a frequency that you're broadcasting out. So they really want you to like step it up and to start working with people in a really big way is what I'm seeing. So let's flip this card. And we had this card come up before. So we talked about resonance. We talked about frequency. If you can imagine singing and chanting, because this is all where I saw like gold sparkles coming up as well. So this is exactly like this card describes exactly what I was talking about. So this is reflecting and programming the water. So very, very special message. Um, so you can even do this over water too, like chanting or toning over water, doing light language over water, you know, doing prayer over water to encode that frequency and encode that spiritual message. Um, so I hope that that helps. I'll just see if there's anything else or any comments. Uh, All right, so I hope that helps Shakti. Leslie, let's have a look for you. So you are looking for guidance and I'm gonna try and get to as many questions as we can. 
All right, so Leslie, as soon as we tune into you, I am seeing some downloads coming in universally in form of frequency and in form of code for you. They're talking about doing self-healing. So I'm not sure if this is work that you've been doing at the moment, but I'm seeing you lay down and I'm seeing you like hands on your chakras and I'm seeing like different frequencies and different codes and energies coming in and you're getting upgrades. So they're talking about, please like tune in to different upgrades. Oh, Dominique, yes, Gayatri Mantra, it's so beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorite mantras. All right, let's have a look for you, Leslie. I've still got that gorgeous resonance of that song just vibrating in the background. All right, so Leslie, the message that I've got for spirit, spirit's like clapping your hand and it's like, come on, get to it. And they're talking about in regards to like healing and in regards to like health journey and in regards to getting on track. They're talking about enough with um, distractions and different things. It's time to like get your game on, get focused. I'm feeling like that call or that like stands to attention. Um, so I hope that, that makes sense. Let's flip this card. Oh, completion. No wonder why spirits like come on girl like let's let's get to this um so this beautiful energy bring in the story of completion so really like what does completion mean for you and i'm feeling angel wings coming out my back right now just like sprouting out kind of between those um scapular bones it's really beautiful feeling so i think that that is spirits also way of it's spirit's way of saying that you're an earth angel too. So meditating on that, meditating on your own healing and also surrounding yourself in that beautiful um, angel wing feeling and feeling what it feels like to really hold yourself at the moment is the message I'm getting from spirit. And I'm just feeling like an army of angels just standing behind me in like attention at the moment. They're holding space for you. They're really holding a lot of strength. Um, Oh, so Shakti Sirius, oh my God, I have a deep connection to Shiva and Gayatri Mantra and special meaning too, meaning for me, um, everything else you mentioned resonates. I practice light language. You are so lovely. Thank you. You are welcome. And I resonate with everything that you, uh, that spirit talked about and what you're talking about, because it's like speaking my own language. So really excited to um, tune into that frequency for you and such a beautiful energy that you're working with as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you for that question. So Amanda, we're picking a card for you as well. All right. Oh, Amanda, what I'm actually feeling right now is spirits actually like lifting you up off the ground. And they're talking about wanting to like lift you up into like a lighter vibration. And I'm not sure if you've had a feeling of spirit. I don't know if you can see me right now. I'm just like automatically swaying. So there's a feeling with spirit that wants to kind of like lift you up and just like sway. And they're talking about like rocking. So even like if you feel that you need to rock back and forth, but it's like spirit and higher self wanna come in and meditate and bring this flow of this beautiful energy uh, through. So let's pick a card around this. Okay. All right, so they're talking about conscious breathing and focusing that attention, focusing that energy. And what they're talking about with this kind of like swaying and this motion energy, it's like bringing down these codes and you're anchoring it and you're flowing it through your light body. So you might even want to step it into dance. You might want to like put some music on, but I'm really feeling it's like get into that universal flow. Even if it feels uncomfortable, it's like dance in that energy, dance in that space around you is the message that I'm getting really, really clear at the moment for you. And what I'm seeing with this is it's going to move out stagnant energy. It's going to help like shift out old frequencies that you no longer need. It's also going to bring in like a newfound kind of like fire and confidence. So let's put this card change. That was what we were just talking about, like shifting out those old frequencies. You're dancing from one world into the next world. This is that ascension process, dancing these new frequencies, uh, frequencies to help kind of like shift yourself into this alignment. That's a really, that's a special one, uh, that one. Um, let's see. All right. Um, so we've got Donna, Donna Funfeather. So, oh, you were talking about mediumship. That's right. 
No wonder why I'm getting purple come up around my third eye when I start to tune in with you. And I feel purple is like a color for you. I'm also seeing green uh, be a color. And I'm also seeing like past life connections to do with working as what we would call like a wise woman um, or a witch. I'm seeing you out in the forest and I'm seeing you with different like little potion and alchemy bottles. Um, let's also see what else we have. Ooh. We're getting more singing tonight come through from spirit. This sounds like what we would call um, like sirens. So with sirens, there's the mythological story of, you know, that there was these beautiful sirens that kind of sometimes look like seals and they would call and they would lure sailors um, to come into the shore, which was, you know, a bit of a tragic story, but they would end up uh, getting shipwrecked or crashing into the rocks. So it wasn't under a nice guise, but what I'm hearing with this kind of like siren energy, it feels like spirit, but it feels like spirit calling from the old worlds, from what we would call like the days of Avalon, from behind the veil. And I feel that this veil is there for you at the moment, Donna. I don't just feel from um, like from mediumship side of things as in spirit, even though that you're very connected and I'm even seeing voice box connected. So whether you sometimes will get spirit come through um, and try and actually speak through your voice box which is extremely hard I've had it come through for me and when it's a male accent or a male voice it's extremely hard to hold that frequency and energy because your whole vibration of your body gets kind of like changed and um, you know reorganized around that but I am sort of seeing like the fairy realms and things that you can connect with too so they work really well around you know things to do with plants and animals and the household uh, and things around nature. So if there's certain questions that people have around that, maybe like calling upon um, that fairy wisdom and that fairy guidance, because I feel your soul so connected to that realm. I'm seeing a little dragon fly down and land on your shoulder. So he just wanted to be acknowledged and like giving him a little pat. Um, he's beautiful. Um, yeah, please like give us some confirmation. That would be amazing to hear more if you've seen this dragon or you've seen the fairy energies. So let's like flip this over. So um, this is interesting. So we were talking about to do with like Avalon and things. We've got the card of cruelty, but I feel this was in relation to a past life. So if there's anything kind of like blocking and hindering you around and spirits going like this, so like fanning. So it's like if there's anything blocking or hindering you around that past life energy and fear for kind of like fully opening up your psychic uh, gifts, I would definitely clear like anything on a past life that might be related to what we would call like... Um, uh, you know, like the witch trials or where uh, like wise people or wise women were either like, uh, you know, given test to kind of prove that they weren't magic, but the test ended up uh, not being so good for them as in like bumping them off. Um, so yeah, look into that and look into like if there's anything that like needs to be released because I feel that it's like your soul is bringing it up at the moment that there's certain things energetically that might be stored in the emotional body around heart and throat and there might not be consciousness like conscious acknowledgement on exactly what it is they're telling me to get in and specifically tap into it all right so let's oh hi Debbie I know who you are I've met you once before um I'm friends with your beautiful daughter Abby so let's do a card for you as well um, and we'll see if there's anything that we get uh, around your question. I'll just also see all right um, Oh, and Dominique saying, me too, it sings to us this in regards to, um, I think, the Gayatri Mantra. Uh, and it flows through the waters and elements when we sing it. Yes, um, you know, song and um, tone and bringing that magical gift of voice, it really does like enchant and encode. And the water holds that frequency at a molecular and vibrational level. It's quite beautiful. If you type in Dr. Moto, uh, Dr. Moto, E-M, OTO, uh, molecules of emotion, you'll see beautiful pictures and imprints which are like snowflakes. So Beck, or no, sorry, Bia or B, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, I'll try. Mazarkova, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry about that. Uh, would like some guidance steps on this year, uh, what is in your highest? Okay, and 
Okay, so Janine as well. Oh, and Andrea. Sorry, I'm trying to get to as many as we can. Just taking me where Spirit is guiding me. So Andrea um, Sheridan, love and relationships. And then we had Janine. And you were saying you were experiencing... Um, okay, so you're having repetitive numbers and heart flutters. And then, um, so we've got Kerry. And uh, you're saying, hi, so one of my very good friends lost her son a few weeks ago, and I've been so broken uh, for them since. I've lost my light and I'm struggling with my throat chakra and my breath. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's, it's devastating. And it's really hard to try and put the pieces back, you know, when uh, something so shocking happens like that. So let's have a look what we can do to kind of like assist. And I do feel, um, I do feel a, a young spirit or like a, I'm seeing a boy that he's presenting as young, even if he was perhaps older when he passed, but I'm seeing him as a young sort of like, it's just sad. It's sad when, when they go young. All right, so we'll try and get to that. So Debbie, let's have a look. All right. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Spirit tonight is the noisy. And what I mean by that is I'm getting a lot of auditory stuff because I'm quite uh, clairvoyant in that I always see things. So I'm seeing stuff as well. But they're like, they're playing like the radio tonight. So as soon as we start to shuffle that, Debbie, I heard the Indiana Jones theme song music. Do, 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 do. Um, so they're talking about this in regards to like love and they're talking about adventure and they're talking about sort of like shedding ideas around like what you feel that love and relationships uh, mean and represent and to look at them as an adventure, to look at them as a journey and to look at them as exciting and to start like peeling back layers of the height and really look at things from a new lens. The other thing that I'm seeing is over your heart chakra, I'm seeing a balance of green and pink. So there's a level of maturity, but there's also a level of beautiful innocence and open-hearted uh, energy around your heart, which is a beautiful, beautiful balance. Um, so they're saying, breathe, soften into the space of your heart and think about what it would be like for your heart to go on an adventure. Let's flip this card. So this is about shedding the old that we talked about before. So this is kind of like the card of indolence. And we've got these, um, what we would call, um, how do you say, like cups. And you can see like on a spiritual level, the energy sort of stopped flowing. And then we've got it from midway down. So this is kind of like the energy pouring out of there. You have to be really careful to nurture yourself in relationships. I really just feel that you're such a giver and you're like, I'm just going to flow energies to everyone else. I'm going to make sure everyone else is okay. And it's by the time that you come back to yourself that you might feel like exhausted. Um, and I'm also seeing that there's some jealousy or bitterness around other people. Sometimes like if you're happy or if you're thriving, that there might be a couple of people that get their nose out of joint or that they kind of like will try and bring you back down energetically or bog you down with their problems. Spirit is like hold space with that. So let's have a look if we're focusing on adventure and we're focusing on that lightheartedness and on flowing that beautiful energy back to yourself. What does this represent on a higher level? Cool. So we have the card of crystals. So access the divine wisdom and knowledge that crystals contain. Meditate and connect on the elemental being of a crystal, which is like the heart or the essence of a crystal. So what I'm also being shown by spirit is... I've seen the crystal caves in Mexico and I'm seeing like go on a journey in meditation and sort of see yourself meditating and visualizing yourself in that space and see what energies and downloads you get and inspirations around um, relationships and even use that as a space to get the crystals to absorb the energy that you need to let go of and have something else uh, beautiful and higher frequency step in. I'm also seeing meditate with a lot of rose quartz around your heart. And the funny thing is like, I'm not just seeing sort of like a, like a, a little piece of rose quartz like this. Spirit is showing me like a massive piece. Like I don't know if you can see 
just in my background, just over there, there's that giant chunk of rose quartz just next to that lamp. Spirit is showing me like a piece of rose quartz like this. It's like, all right, put it on there. Yeah, we're going to like charge it up. Yep, let's get to it. They're really, they're being quite cheeky with that. Um, so I hope that that helps. Um, so B, we wanted to know about highest, uh, like about the highest good and different steps. Let's have a look. All right, straight away, I'm taken to healing. I'm also seeing blue orbs flying around you. There's blue orbs. Sometimes these can, uh, they're like a blue orb cleanup, uh, cleanup crew. Sometimes these are also called a shenai. And a shenai are like little bowls of energy, sometimes like teeny tiny, and sometimes kind of like cricket bowl size or like tennis bowl size. And they will fly around in your aura and clean up anything that no longer needs to be there. Asking, connecting for these guys when you're in a safe space. So set up your beautiful golden bubble and call on these blue Ashani to help clean up any energies that are there, uh, that no longer need to be there and help them attune you to your highest self for your best and highest good. And I just dropped some cards on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I picked a card for you before I dropped half the deck. So let's have a look. So the other thing that I'm seeing is like a winged energy just coming in so, so strong. I feel like you've been getting messages and contact from um, the angelic realm. So notice if you've had like any white feathers, if you've been getting number synchronicities, I'm just feeling so strong. Like when I look into it on a visual level, it's glowing really bright white light. And I'm seeing the actual texture and tone of these beautiful angelic wings. Archangel Michael is really strong for you. Let's put this card. Look at this. This is beautiful. So we were talking about like getting the Ashenai to come in and tune you up. Look how your energy runs when we have like these beautiful blue Ashenai beings come in and clean and tone you up. They're just like, it's like when you take your car to the mechanic and everything's kind of like flowing and working well. So I'd love to hear from you um, with working with these beings, like what you feel or different shifts that you notice uh, in meditation. So you can even put music on uh, and connect or work with um, some binaural beats and connect. So let's have a look. We also had uh, Andrea, I think it was. Let me see if I can find your name again. Yep, Andrea uh, Sheridan. So we want to look into love and relationships. Yep, Spirit again with the songs. Okay, so I'm hearing that song. I don't even know who sings it, but it's like, don't worry be happy <laughs> i'm just hearing that song chanting almost like spirit is singing it as a mantra so it's really just like connecting in it's like just singing it over and over again they're talking about a level or a boundary and a level of acceptability around relationships and changing your idea around what's acceptable and what you allow to come into your space. And they're talking about healing the old in relation to that. I'm also feeling different emotions stored as though they're like little bubbles. So I'm not sure if you've felt anything sort of like around throat chakra, um, but they're talking about releasing that. Let's flip this card. Yeah. Connect in with your um, physical self to the higher self. You need to like part, uh, part the clouds and get this frequency going. The blue represents that healing. This part represents sort of that heart throat chakra area. And we want to bring clarity. So this is the ace of swords and it's really recognizing your worth. So this crown um, is that self-worth as well. So really write a list, tune into like your absolute pure um, higher self, bring that in, connect into your heart look at like what resonates with your heart and your higher self on the best good um, or best and highest level look at like also what doesn't and look at what relationships you're in or kind of communicating with because the other person needs healing that's what spirit's showing me is that you're quite empathic and you are drawn to help people but sometimes it's not always for your best good so they're just saying like restock like take, do a stock take on what's for your best and highest good so i hope that helps um all right so we had janine to do with numbers and the heart flutters let's have a look so this was janine um grimson let's have a look songs again 
This is so random tonight. I love it. I love random things. All right. So very random. But Janine, when I tune into you, spirit is wanting to bring sort of like a lightened kind of message. And I'm actually getting taken to a clip in The Little Mermaid. And it's where Ariel, um, Princess Ariel, starts to talk about where she's like wishing or she's kind of like hoping to have legs. And she's singing that song, you know, under under the water. She's talking about or singing about like, um, you know, up where they run, up where they play all day in the sun. Um, and she's talking about like what or singing about the message of what it would be like to have legs instead of having that tail. So it's almost like spirits talking about like reminiscing or thinking about what it would be like to be in a different world or a different vibration. So spirits really almost like trying to sing you into that and open that window of hope around this. So with the number synchronicities, pay attention to what it was you were thinking right before the number synchronicities occurred. Um, there is, I think it's sacred numbers or angel numbers uh, website has great definitions. So if you're getting multiple numbers, whether it's like 444, um, 747, like, you know, different number sequences, 1111, they have a really great number kind of directory that you can look up and see the deeper understanding that'll give you like a page of information on number combinations with the heart flutters. And you're saying that you're feeling a scared feeling. So sometimes when we're in kind of like fear mode or we've been fed fear from an environmental factor or whether it's through um, the news or whether it's even energetically from different things going on around us, sometimes you will get negative energy that like to hook in and kind of feed off this and they'll stimulate and create a little bit of a heart panic kind of flutter feeling um, of course if it doesn't subside I do recommend like seeing a doctor just to get it checked out to clear that it's nothing on a physical level but let's have a look on a card level because I am seeing blue around this like I am seeing healing around that heart chakra and I'm seeing crystalline energy and I'm actually seeing spirits actually taking me to the positive so just as we were seeing like with that aerial mermaid song um what I'm actually seeing is this beautiful crystalline portal energy which is coming to those ocean colors again I'm seeing do uh, dolphins and whales come in when we're connecting with this so no wonder why you had a mermaid come up too they're talking about focusing on these frequencies and the other thing that spirit is asking me to reference is um, so on Spotify, my website and Insight Timer, um, I have meditations up for free. So one of the meditations is called Mermaids in Atlantis. I highly recommend that one as a healing journey um, and asking that the mermaids in that healing underwater crystal uh, cave or crystal environment that they help remove this um, feeling that you're getting and help to remove and shift that vibration um, of that scared feeling because what happens is when negative energies hook in in this way it's like they tap into our um, our IP address because our body is kind of like a computer so we all admit like frequency waves we all kind of admit um, like an address an energy signature signature of which spirit can recognize us with so when you shift this um, frequency and you shift this uh, energy, whether it's like through visualization, whether it's feeling your energy kind of shift and adjust like a radio station, if you're doing it in this meditation especially, it can create powerful change. So let's have a look at this card, completion. Definitely have a go. Um, and this is all heart chakra energy as well. So yeah, it'd be interesting to hear some feedback from you. I hope that that helps. Thank you for your question. So we've got Kerry Burgess, um, and you were talking about, Kerry, about a friend just losing a son, and I'm so sorry to hear that as well. Let's have a look and see if there's anything that we can do, because I do feel his spirit around. I'm just feeling right now, it's like for everyone, sort of, don't feel the, um, I guess like for the family and for you, it's don't feel that you have to sort of like keep yourself busy. I'm feeling spirit standing right next to me. And it's like, it's okay to pause. It's okay to take a moment. It's okay to feel like that the world has stopped for a bit and to kind of let go into that grieving space. And I'm even just feeling that spirit of that boy, even um, that son. I'm just feeling his spirit there too. Just, he feels like that he was quite a wise soul uh, in that he might have appeared older than his age in um, like uh, sometimes you can just look into a person's eyes and you can see that they're an old soul 
and I feel this that this person is bringing through calm and love and strength um, and I do feel that they're at peace even though you know it's a tragedy uh, losing a, ch a child before a parent so let's pick a card and see if there's anything but I'm also feeling that grieving energy around throat chakra as well which sometimes like when we're really grieving it feels like a little bit like battery acid so really looking at like what you can do to kind of like soothe this area at the moment so lots of calm soothing teas but I'm actually being directed and guided more to teas that heal the heart but it's that soothing action and bring that heart medicine over that throat chakra that will help um yeah and just you know consciously breathing with that too um as you're shifting into that calmness and that space all right so let's pick a card the other thing that i'm being shown is a bridge um okay let's see i feel like this is a very big question i guess like the or the image and things that spirit is bringing up so we won't have time to go into it here but i'm just seeing like a golden energy and i'm seeing a bridge and things and i feel that there was a moment whether it was someone had recognized that um this um beautiful soul had shifted or kind of like uh how would you say like shifted dimensional space um and the moment that their soul sort of like left the body but i'm seeing this energy glow i don't feel that they've gone into you know a, a negative space they're showing me a world that very much looks gold and glowing so i'll flip this card so we do have even though there's heartbreak and things this is the card of ruin i feel that this is the energy around those that are grieving whereas the heart has that gold energy that we were just talking about around it and even though it feels quite painful like right now that all of these swords are kind of focused around this heart energy focus on that gold that we just talked about and focus on the spirit visualize that um that beautiful uh boy standing in that golden light and even just like tuning back in doing that tea for that heart uh chakra which will also help the throat so i hope that this helps uh, let's just see oh thank you Vanessa so Vanessa shared um, the Gayatri mantra with us all thank you so much um, it's such a beautiful song it really like when I used to um, float in the float tanks all the time it would be like my go-to song because it just shifts you into another dimension um, and sings to all your chakras it's beautiful all right so christy um thompson things are very difficult at work and my mental health isn't good i would be so grateful for any light or love please all right let's pick a card for you i'm hearing the word nurture and i'm seeing like a lot of green come up to do with heart chakra and I'm also feeling that um, at the moment to peel back different levels of responsibility. I'm feeling that there's a lot that you're carrying, not just for yourself, but for other people. Whether this is like emotional things that you're feeling to carry for others, but they're talking about getting other people to kind of like step in and help out. And this might also be talking to people too, to kind of like help release um, some of this energy and some of this burden that you're, that you're carrying. Let me see. Yeah. So what I'm seeing is a golden door that has like a little bit of green in it and I'm seeing blue going through. So whether this is about like having some kind of like healing or stepping through to that other side to receive healing because I'm seeing blue come out of this doorway. So it might be actually about reaching out to someone um, or maybe calling a hotline. You know, there's different uh, mental health hotlines and things that you can call as well and just kind of like releasing it through talking to someone because what I'm feeling is even just talking about it my throat chakra is starting to get uncomfortable but I feel like this is just because you're not used to always talking about things so this is about getting out of your comfort zone to kind of like seek that support and seek that help and I do feel spirit around you um, in like a very close proximity and it feels I feel like your guides and angels are there like giving care and sending love but this is also something that you need to shift on a very physical level so yes spirit can assist and kind of like hold your hand it's kind of like when you're little and you go to the dentist 
you still kind of like have to go through that process, but like your mum can hold your hand um, or your parent can hold your hand. Uh, this makes sense. So we've got the card of the Aeon. So spirit is with you. So you can see Nut or Nut, the mother sky goddess who gives to her children. She wants to help. And this is also this blue kind of doorway or like a portal that I spoke about too. So you can see that represent there. And you can see spirit here and this Egyptian goddess working with you. So this is really about tackling things on a few different levels at the moment. Um, so I hope that that helps and I hope that things start to shift uh, for you a little bit sooner. Oh, thank you, Cassie. Cassie Scully, um, highly recommend a booking with uh, so Rita, truly incredible. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Uh, for anyone that does want to know more um, uh, with my bookings, you can go to my website. The link is in the description for tonight's reading. Um, oh, you're welcome, Debbie. Um, so Debbie's saying, uh, this is so perfectly true, Soul. Thank you so much. It's appreciated. I will get my rose quartz and I'm working with Abby's today. We both were. Also, I go into my meditations Chris, uh, with Crystal Cave. I love it. That is such good confirmation for me as well as you. Thank you for sharing that. Um, let's also see, just got goosebumps with that too. A little like fairy taps on my um, crown chakra. Oh, you're welcome, B. Yeah, that's how I was seeing him was sort of like around 12, 13. Um, so Carrie was just saying that um, the boy was only about 12, 13. Um, and you've been seeing 11, 11 daily. And you can you can feel him very close still, like very, like the shock is still quite imminent, but really visualizing him in that beautiful golden energy. Um, and this is very hard, I guess, as a parent too, or when you do have young kids around because you really feel it quite strongly. Um, yeah, so I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm just saying love to you and to the family and also just talking to this boy and helping him sort of like navigate because he's kind of like on that. Um, sometimes when spirit shows a bridge, it's also called an Antakarana or it's also called Bardo and it's a space between worlds. So just guiding him back to source and sending with love and it doesn't mean that he won't be accessible. It just means that he's going to help sort of like find that light and find that pathway back to source a lot easier. And I'm just, I'm seeing spirit like blow and send love and send kisses. I'm also feeling there's some kind of like Maori spirit connection around. So I'm not sure if someone has said prayers for him, um, but I'm just also feeling like a, almost like a, a Maori spirit or like a, a message coming through connected to you with that. So I'm not sure if that resonates, but there's something around helping guide him. Um, let's see, we've got a couple of minutes left. Oh, you're welcome, Andrea. I'm so glad that that helped. Oh, yes, Dominique. I want to go where the people go. How much of a beautiful song is that? It's just the melody and the tone. It's a gorgeous song. Oh, and Janine's saying, I started a business and I am a mermaid. Well, no wonder why Spirit is talking about mermaids with you. How magical and enchanting. I love it. Um, and I would love um, love to talk more. There has been negative uh, everywhere and my new business is supposed to take uh, away from this to the beach. Oh, you would thrive at the beach being a mermaid as well. Oh, thank you, Janine, for sending stars. You're welcome, Kerry. Um, yeah, just sending you guys love again. All right, let's see if there's anyone else that we can help. Because we've got maybe one more question that we could probably answer. Oh, okay, so um, Christy Thompson saying, thank you, Sorita. It gives me comfort to know that I have love around me and I just don't know where to go uh, with work from here. You were very kind to share your gift with us. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, yeah, really tuning into that love, but making that active step to to seek, um, you know, that guidance on a very physical level as well. So um, Talia King, let's go to your question. All right. All right, straight away, spirit is taking me to the throat. They're like, also they're like, bam, 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 like hurry up. They're like, please do not distort your energy. Water yourself down for anyone. I'm getting sort of like a sassy spirit come in. I'm seeing someone like with their finger up and they're like, do not water yourself down for anyone. Um, they're really talking about keeping your spirit pure and strong at the moment as well. Um, oh, thank you, Janine. 
Uh, let's also see if there's anything. Yeah, they're just talking about like, uh, okay, funny analogy, uh, Talia, but what uh, Spirit is showing me is, okay, say we have cordial. And for my American friends that are watching, this is what we call Kool-Aid. So it's like you want to have like a certain amount of the cordial or Kool-Aid compared to the water. And Spirit is like, you know, like um, McDonald's, like when we were kids and then have that massive pitcher or massive uh, kind of like cooler of um, that watered down, disgusting cordial stuff. Like who knows what that stuff really was anyway. Um, but it's like you could barely even taste the cordial. So they're talking about and that Spirit's little joke as in like to really kind of like bring this message into heart and to home. So let's flip this card and see what we get. So this is the card of lust and look at how much attention is going on and everyone's like calling for your attention they're calling for like your guidance. It's like being pulled in many different ways. So don't water down yourself. We've also got this beautiful fertile um, egg or ovum being released by this goddess. Whoops, which that are we? This goddess with her higher self intact. So communicating and tapping into your higher self and let's also quickly pick um, a card for Kendall. So I hope that helps Talia. Uh, Kendall, we have the card of harmony. So paying attention to kind of that middle ground space, finding harmony within your own soul. It says clear and release clutter and emotions that could be blocking you from experiencing more harmony. Also light candles and burn some oils to lift the vibration. Thank you so much everyone for watching tonight. Um, I'm sending you so much love right now. And please like, as we talked about with one of the beautiful people here tonight, if anyone is experiencing where they feel sort of like a heaviness or they're feeling alone or they feel like they're battling with, um, you know, mental health or just like inner questions and things, don't be afraid to seek help. Don't be afraid to ring the hotlines um, that are out there designed to, to answer your questions and designed to, you know, give a little bit of guidance. I'm just sending you lots of love and please look after yourselves and look after each other.